In 2018, our city will commemorate its founding 300 years ago. In celebration, WYS presents this tricentennial moment. It may be hard to believe, but the Battle of New Orleans was never actually fought in New Orleans. On January 8, 1815, when the battle-seasoned British Army, who outnumbered their foe more than two to one, tried to advance to the city, the American forces, a cobbled together band of warriors, decimated the invaders in one of the most one-sided victories in the War of 1812. The British would go no further than the front that was defined by the plantation dotted landscape of what is now St. Bernard Parish. The sugar plantation of the well-respected Ignace du Chalmet was the brutal engagement's ground zero. Chalmette Plantation is the battlefield. And uh, very early on, Jackson realizes the Chalmette Plantation is a threat. So General Jackson ordered that everything be destroyed that Chalmette had, because whether it was his house, his barns, his sugar mill, all of these things could have been used to compromise the American position. So that Chalmette understood this, and he understood that it was a necessary sacrifice. But the extent and reality of this sacrifice was too much to bear. Chalmette traveled to the plantation, saw everything destroyed, and it was more than he could live with. He returned home that night, had what was called then a fit of apoplexy, which today we would call a stroke, and died. Chalmette's sacrifice was not unique among the families that lived and made their livings downriver from New Orleans. What happened to Chalmette and to the Chalmette family was indicative of what happened throughout the region of all the major sugar planters in St. Bernard at the time of the Battle of New Orleans. Most all of them were ruined and lost their plantations within 10 to 13 years of the battle. But this collective triumph did set the course for the young and expanding country. After the Louisiana Purchase, people had all these suspicions about Louisiana not being American enough. It's kind of ironic that the sense of our national pride came in large measure from uh, the Plains of Chalmette. In defending New Orleans, the victory helped the United States maintain its independence and forge a new American identity but it also forever changed the landscape and people of St. Bernard Parish. I'm Tom Gregory, and this has been your New Orleans Tricentennial Moment. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.